Do this long enough and your tent will break. Doesn't matter what caused it, you're gonna need to know how to fix your tent in the field and at home, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So the tent poles we're gonna be repairing today are from a Nemo Hornet. My experience with Nemo was good. There was room for improvement. I contacted them on August 16th, and I ended up getting my repair pole on September 17th. They really don't have an order form on their site. You have to email them saying, my tent pole is broken. And then they email you back, well, which tent pole? And then you email them back the segment, and then they email you back, and then you have to email them back your PayPal account, and then they will email you back. It's just a long process. The other thing that I found with Nemo was that they didn't respond by phone call. I know they're a small company, so I wasn't able to get help on the phone, but they did respond to my emails in a pretty timely manner. So if your tent pole breaks out in the field, what do you do? These are tent pole repair splints. This one is the one that comes with the Nemo tent. This one is one that I just picked up from REI. It's from MSR. These run about five bucks. If you don't have one in your bag, you should always carry one with you. It will save you. So here you can see my break. I noticed that my uh, shot cord is basically severed and needs replaced. So this very simple repair has turned into an in-depth one. Okay, so the way this tent pole repair thing works out in the field is it goes over. Sometimes brute force helps. Okay, so there you can see I have my tent pole splint and it's kind of flimsy. I always carry gaff tape, but if you have some duct tape, tape some around one of the straps of your bag so you have it. Really, really uh, MacGyver this. All right, let's get started here. First things first, we gotta unscrew this little guy on the end, the ball cap. Unscrew that and out comes your shot cord. Your shot cord is just there with a nice little loop on the end. You're gonna need to untie that. Now with the shot cord untied, we're gonna start dismantling this. So here's piece one. Now, I have these post-it notes to keep track of the poles. One is going to be the closest and put this off to the side. Here is my broken section. So we're just gonna take this off. And you can see because this piece was pretty much a serrated edge, it has serrated my shot cord. So I'm just gonna label my replacement part with the two, because that is what it's going to be. And five. So now you can see I have this pole removed, the cord exposed, and now we gotta get into this annoying little Nemo hub here that holds the shot cord. So I have the dullest knife at this point, I'm kind of wondering how much is it for a whole new pole set, but seeing as my one section cost me $13 plus shipping and handling. Okay, top has come off. Pencil, yep, yeah, there we go. So I've removed both sides of this thing. You can see what's next. Now there's a clip that I think I'm supposed to remove. So there you can see the clip is out. So now we are just gonna untie this shot cord again. We're just gonna remove the shot cord from this clip. So now we're left with this, just an empty hub. So this shot cord is an aftermarket shot cord. This is not one that Nemo sent me. So I'm just gonna take my old shot cord, level it up right there. And I'm just gonna cut it according to this length. It was better to be a little long than short. Oh, that was nerve wracking. You know, I'm just gonna take a lighter here. This is probably ill-advised and just kind of cotter this end. Okay, so now thread it through the hub. Use my pen here to help it. And then next I'm gonna thread this back through this clip here like so. And then I need to create a loop, pretty good size loop. 
And then I believe that a simple knot will work. There we go. So I believe that looks pretty good. All right, time to get this thing back through. Uh-huh, knot is through. That's always a plus. And clip is in. Woo! There we go. We have some new shot cord. Pat on the back. Pat yourself on the back. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my caps back on. And there we go. So now I'm obviously going to start putting the sections back through the cord, starting with number five and just working my way back. I feel like this little table was not the best workspace to do this. I think I need something bigger. That's what she said. So I'm having this issue where I'm trying to thread down this way and I'm getting stuck right on some sort of ledge here. So the way I'm gonna attack this is by taking this kind of hanger, going up through, connecting my piece of string with just a very small knot on the end here. And then I'm just gonna pull this through. That is section five, four more to go. I've made it to my replacement section. I don't know why. Maybe Nemo gave me the silver one instead of green. It is the shame pole, I guess. As long as it doesn't break again. All right, Nemo. I have one more section left and here's where it gets interesting because obviously this shock cord is starting to tighten up. What I'm going to do is use my trusty old gaff tape here. I'm gonna pull this shot cord out, really pull it out, like really give it some. Secure this shot cord. And now that I have all this extra shot cord still, I can finish my repair. Okay, so there I have the last piece on there and I just gotta create another loop and get this ball cap on there and we're almost done. Now to remove my gaff tape. Good as new. Check out my adventure to the highest lake in Idaho where this tent pole snapped, or check out some more awesome hiking and backpacking adventures on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.